Christmas is on a Monday. Yes, four weeks from today. Many are ready, some are just starting. Or barely starting. <laughs> One of the most important steps, of course, is buying a Christmas tree. First News Weekend Morning anchor Samantha Bender joins us live with what you need to know before you buy your live tree. Sam. Lindsay, Dave, good evening. While some are still munching through their Thanksgiving leftovers, others are wasting no time looking ahead to Christmas. Bradley Tree Farm in Vienna was bustling this morning with people searching for that perfect tree. For the last 45 years, Bradley Tree Farm in Vienna has been helping families get into the holiday spirit. Owner Daniel Bradley says he plants anywhere from 1,000 to 1,500 seedlings a year. The most popular... The firs, whether it's Canaan fir, Fraser fir, or Douglas fir. Families have the choice of purchasing a pre-cut tree or cutting one down themselves. For Amy Jones and her family, they always choose the latter. It's just more fun. <laughs> I think that's pretty much it. It's just... It's just part of the, the fun going out and looking for the tree you want. Bradley provides a fresh cut before families take their trees home. He always suggests, if they're not putting it up right away, to put it in a bucket of water. Once they take it into the house, make sure they keep, keep it watered. You do not want your tree stand to get dry, the water level in there, because it will sap over and then it will not take any more water. Also, avoid putting it near a heat diffuser. Do your best to set the tree up somewhere where it's a little cooler since that's the environment it's used to. And picking the perfect Christmas tree looks different for everyone. Beauty's in the eye of the beholder. Some people like them tall and skinny, a little more sparse, while others like them fat, fuller. One thing that looks the same, though, Christmas tree shopping is a family affair. I've had customers coming here for probably the last 25 years, and now I've seen when they were kids, now they're adults and they have their own kids. Bradley says if you take care of your tree, it can hold its needles for five to seven weeks. Bradley says he anticipates this coming weekend and the following weekend to be the busiest for Christmas tree farms. He also shared a couple interesting facts with me. Did you know that one acre of Christmas trees provides enough oxygen for 18 people to live a day? He also shared that over the course of a Christmas tree's lifetime, it can absorb up to one ton of CO2. Hey, the more you know. Live in Poland, Samantha Bender, First News at 6. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.